Hey guys, Chris with City Girl Homestead. Time for dinner. Supper, whatever you want to call it. I'm going to put my potatoes on low. That's the frozen ones. They're still a little bit frozen, but that's okay. They'll thaw by the time I get them fried up. So now remember, we ground up chicken earlier today. Ta-da. I think it's a little bit more than a pound, so I'm going to kind of adjust this recipe. I'm making chicken parm burgers. So let's make these. All right. It says for a half a cup of um, Italian breadcrumbs. So because I think that's more like, I don't know, a pound and a half maybe, I'm going to do a little over a half a cup. I guess you could use plain ones too if you wanted. Just a little bit more than that. There we go. And it calls for a quarter cup of parsley, fresh parsley, which I don't have. So we're going to have to use the regular parsley that I do have. Looks like I need to fill that back up. And then it says we need two cloves of garlic. Tell me what you think. I've got one more pork loin in the freezer, and I was like, well, if it works this easy for chicken, maybe it would for pork. And I found a great recipe. Think I should do it? Let me know. And it says two cloves of garlic, so I'm just going to put a tablespoon and a half in there. And then it says they want freshly shredded Parmesan, which I don't have that either. So we're going to do a quarter cup of our regular Parmesan. Again, I'm just going to add just a little bit more than that because I'm more than sure this is a, more than a pound. All right. I'm going to turn that heat on, just on low to get the pan warmed up a little bit. You know what, I was going to do that, but my hands are clean. I just did dishes. But I want this to get all ground in there really, really good. Because sometimes a spoon just isn't enough. We got stuff there still on the bottom. It's like kneading bread almost. <laughs> almost got it all. Not quite yet though. That wouldn't have been good, would it? <laughs> I've got some, uh, I bought Meyer has a 7 to 7 for sale, and I got um, broccoli last week, um, just a little head of it. So I've got that up in the microwave. I'm going to steam that. And the little steamer my mom got me um, when the dollar stores first came here. <laughs> so we're going to make nice little patties and put them in the pan. I don't know if these shrink up like other burgers, so I guess we'll find out. It says it's enough for four, but I was hoping to get six maybe that way. Jack could have dinner tonight too. There's four. We got eight hamburger buns, so I guess we could do more. <laughs> Five. Looks like we're going to get seven. Nice. That seventh one isn't going to be very big, but that's all right. Okie dokie. 
Let me wash all this chicken off and then I'll be right back. All right, so let's get these flipped. So the first time, so they should be brown on the other side. I am gonna add a little bit more oil to it because this chicken is really not fatty. But mash it down just a little bit. Now it says to add salt and pepper to it. All right, let's add a little bit more oil to that. Some of these little corners here. There we go. And I do have the potatoes over there cooking. I'll move them back to the bigger burner once they get completely unthawed. So I don't have to watch them as close. So look at that so far. We did that, you guys. We did that. You know, it's this freezer thing is really kind of cool actually because I'm learning some new stuff and hopefully you guys are too and hey I checked the price at Walmart it was $3.62 a pound for ground chicken and that breast that I got out there I think I got for $1.79 a pound so heck you know we saved a lot of money today not tons but you know hey every dollar counts all right, now since Tom won't be home for a while, I'm going to do something a little bit different than what they say. I'm going to take that marinara sauce. And I'm going to drain it all over the top. You don't have to get it on the burgers if you don't want to. Well, that one came out pretty good. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to let that just simmer. It's going to be on very low for, you know, a few minutes. I want the marinara sauce to heat up and to kind of marry with the chicken. Then we'll move these over there. Whenever your potatoes get um, frozen, they do get a little bit mushier. So I have to cook them a little bit longer so that they'll actually get crisp. They are pre-fried, but it's still, they're not as, as good as it is when you first do them. But I wasn't going to waste potatoes and I had a whole bunch, so, you know, we used them up. Now I'm going to take some butter, because you know, you guys, I really liked that garlic on the bread that really really does add a lot and so I'm going to do it with this as well it doesn't matter if they stay hot because basically it's just you're crisping them up and you want them to taste like the garlic powder I know I did melted butter last time, but we can still paint it on. It's no big deal. However you want to do it. It all melts the same anyway. <laughs> Glad I didn't have to get that eighth one on here. I don't think that would have fit. I love how we're getting stuff out of the freezer and I hope you guys are too and I'm learning some stuff you guys I think that's great that's what's probably one of the best things about this and these are ones I got at the down or at the bread store today 85 cents Now 
nice. But I'm just going to go through and kind of just rub it in there. That's going to be delicious. I'm going to go ahead and put it in the oven now until they get nice and brown. I think we're doing good. And I've got a couple ideas for next week, actually, too, out of the freezer. Um, things that I know were in there, so I didn't lose them in the abyss or anything, but I just didn't know what to do with them. So, because I'm picking certain meats, then I can look up certain recipes, you know what I mean? So, that's kind of fun, too. So, I hope you guys are having fun, too. I hope it's not just me getting all, like, schooly and giddy and whatever. <laughs> you guys are like, girl, stop. <laughs> I hope that you're enjoying it and, and getting some ideas, too. Because, you know, I think together, you know, see how that, that will brown, but you got to leave them alone. When they're, when they've been frozen. They will crisp up. You just got to let them sit. Look at that. So we don't have french fries with it, but we've got fried potatoes, and that's the next best thing, right? So I'm going to let this stuff cook. I'm going to turn these down a little bit, because Tom won't be home for quite a while. <laughs> I kind of got over anxious and started dinner, so oh well, things happen. Alright, so the next thing we need to do, let me show this to you guys before we put any cheese in it. <laughs> I don't know how to tell if a hamburger or that is done, so I cut down into it and it looks done. So, next thing we're going to do is we're going to put some mozzarella cheese on each one of them. You can use sliced mozzarella too if you choose, but I'm just going to use the grated Parmesan. Look at that. Beautiful, huh? Then I'm going to come behind it and put a little bit more of the Parmesan on it. Just because I can. It doesn't say to do that, but... Well, we do what we want in our own kitchen, right? Alright, so I'm going to put two of them together for Tom's lunch here. While all this melts. You're going to take that sauce and put it on the bottom. Alright. So we're going to let that melt, and then I'll finish putting them together. Look at this, you guys. <laughs> Beautiful. So I'm going to dress up all these burgers, get the potatoes on there and the um, broccoli, and then we're going to do a taste test. Hi, Tom. Hello. How are you? All right. Get wet today? What's that? Did you get wet today? Yeah. Courtney help with that? Kind of. <laughs> she is my daughter-in-law. Look at that. They're chicken parm sandwiches. She locked me out of my car. Out of her car so I could get my lunch bucket out. <laughs> she just likes messing with you. Mm-hmm. Mm. That's pretty good. I ground that chicken myself. Mm. Oh, I thought you were grabbing for broccoli. <laughs> no? You'd be stabbing the thing in the mouth. Mm -hmm. What do you think? Broccoli, not bad. Well, how about the chicken parm? Oh, that's really good. Jeez. <laughs> All right, Jack.
What do you think? That would be delicious. <laughs> He's like, just let me watch him eat. <laughs> All right. Wow, you ate broccoli on your own. You're growing up to be a good big boy. <laughs> <laughs> I love you, big boy. You're supposed to say I love you, too. I'm eating trees. That's what AJ calls them. Mm -hmm. I said I love you. I love you, too. Jeez, shouldn't have to repeat that. <laughs> All right, you guys. I'm too busy eating my broccoli. <laughs> trees. But now he says, those aren't trees, Grandma. That's broccoli. And I'm like, yeah, you're right. So anyway, we're going to let this man eat. So I did pretty good for ground turkey, or ground, ground chicken. Ground turkey? Yeah, I don't even have any turkey in the freezer. Alrighty. So we can stretch our imagination out. Oh, by the way, anybody that wants rotten, um, no, that wants any canning lids right now, they're giving away a free gift for Mother's Day. And you guys remember on Saturday, for those of you in the United States, put some canned goods out, some non-perishables. Um, put them out really early in the morning because it's the post office's food drive. So it'll help a lot of your local communities. You guys have a blessed night. Be a blessing. And bye, Tom. Bye, Tom. Bye, Jack. Bye. You guys have a great night. See you tomorrow.